What's going on today, guys? So today I'm gonna share two stocks that I personally invest in that are under $2. Now, when you get to this level of investing, when you're investing in things that are a dollar or $2, losing even a penny hurts. Losing 10 cents hurts real bad. And I have to start the video saying that I have an extremely high risk tolerance. So I'm not saying that any of you should go and purchase shares of either of these companies. I just want to share with you why I have decided to invest in these companies. The two companies are Plug Power and Quantum Emotion, and they're in different sectors. They're in different areas of the stock market. One is an energy play and one is a quantum cybersecurity play. The only thing they have in common is they're very risky, very speculative. And right now they're pretty cheap. So let's jump in. So Plug actually had a 28% day and it caught my eye in my portfolio. So I decided I would come on here and talk about it. Plug Power skyrocketed 28.5% today. And the reason for this is because in the big, beautiful bill, which is currently working its way through Congress, the Senate's latest version includes a provision extending the hydrogen industry tax credit through January 1st, 2028, and plug is hydrogen energy. Two years longer than the previous version, the significant change sent hydrogen stocks across the board higher. View hydrogen as a potential clean energy stream, this is Exxon, as most hydrogen today is using natural gas. Plug Power has committed to moving towards 100% clean methods that do not use natural gas, but for now relies in part on fossil fuels. Plug is a risky bet. The company's sales have stagnated and declined for some time with notable exception of last quarter. It is operating at a loss and burning cash. Warning, 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 red flag, red flag, red flag. For investors with a high risk tolerance, plug could be a speculative turnaround play, but I would caution most investors to stay away. So I'm not most investors. I have an extremely high risk tolerance and I'm taking a chance on this company. So Plug is on a path to clean energy future with hydrogen. Green hydrogen production is paramount. One of the keys to growing the future hydrogen economy is the ability to cost effectively provide large scale zero carbon green hydrogen. Hydrogen can be produced by renewable sources like wind and solar energy. We're projecting using more than 80 tons of hydrogen in 2024 and have made a commitment to achieving 50% green content. Looking at the financials in the stock chart, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the stock chart, but we can see that at one point in 2021, this was a $70 stock and it's been just really going down, 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 down. And we'll look closer because there was some optimism that came into the name. Uh, revenue was increasing through 2023 and then has been on a downtrend. There was one quarter where they burned a billion dollars uh, on the net income side. However, if you take that quarter out of the picture, net income might look okay. So if you just really want to be optimistic, free cash flow has been at half a billion dollars in 2023. But if you want to put on rose colored glasses, it's kind of going in the right correct direction. Operating cash flow kind of going in the right direction. they cost and OPEX is down a little bit and they do have quite a bit of debt and not a lot of cash and equivalents. So they do have a lot of problems on the balance sheet. They have 3000 employees and their next earning is in August. So if we look at the chart, this is just kind of the last year or so actually, excuse me, five years. And at the at one point, this stock was a $73 stock right now. It's a $1.49. And if we get in a little closer to like the last month, we go back to April, Plug Power actually hit 69 cents a share. And that's kind of where I entered is I have a lower average, like around a dollar, uh, maybe maybe right here. Um, just really speculating that maybe this company can make a turnaround story because you can see that even in January of this year, it was a $3 stock. So a lot of value has a lot of value lost has been priced in and a lot of the negative outlook for plug has already been priced in. We have to go back all the way to 2021 to see when the stock was $45. So the only optimism 
or the only way that I can kind of even get on here and talk about this is because some of that optimism is back because of the bill that is likely to pass Congress and it's up 120%. And in the last day, it gapped up on the news and it held all day with strong price action at a 30% gain. So I just want to let you guys know that this might be the start of a bullish reversal, but it might not. So qualifying, qualifying, qualifying. I don't want anyone to come and get mad at me or anything. Um, the riskiest of risky plays when you're playing with these pennies, penny stocks. They don't, they're penny slots. I shouldn't call them penny stocks, penny slots. You're going to lose a lot of the time. And that's okay for me because I'm, I'm okay with uh, taking a chance here and there. So for me, quantum cybersecurity is a very simple story that is very obviously going to play out. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. People tend to procrastinate. That's not just the individual person, that's enterprises, that's business, that's governments. It's really hard and it costs money to make your enterprise and your business post quantum safe. And some people don't even know what a quantum computer is or why they would need to make it post quantum safe. And some of them are IT professionals. As people learn more and more about this threat, when that quantum attack comes, these quantum cybersecurity companies could become very valuable because lots of people will be coming and saying, hey, I need your product because our insurance company is going to drop us, that type of thing. So it's it's a uh, it's very speculative. And quantum emotion is based in Canada. And right now this is an OTC stock. So an OTC is adjacent to a pink sheet, which means it's not even trading on the NASDAQ. So if that gives you an idea of how risky it is, it's risky, risky, risky. But all of those qualifiers out of the way, this is why I'm interested. This is why I have thousands of shares in this company because they're doing something that's really hard and they're doing something called quantum entropy with quantum random number generators. So for any of you computer nerds out there or any of you science nerds, you probably already know that real true random with a classical computer is very difficult, if not impossible. We have to do crazy things like read levels off of radiation, atomic decay in radiation to get even an actual random number because you can go to the seed of any type of random number generator. If you know the way that number was generated, you can potentially reverse engineer that. And so it's not completely secure. So their QRNG2 technology leverages the electron tunneling effect as a source of true quantum randomness, setting it apart from classical QRNGs reliant on photons. This innovative approach not only ensures heightened security, but also distinguishes itself in terms of speed, cost, and versatility. The e-wallet, a secure physical cryptocurrency storage. I'm not personally in cryptocurrency, but I know a lot of people are interested in, and this is a growing market. So QEM is developing a new method to operate blockchain wallet that benefits from the protection provided by the QEM quantum random number generator. And potentially the most and probably the most consequential story and what moved this stock out of true penny and into like the dollar level was when Quantum Emotion finalized their QRNG hybrid chip design with TSMC. Now TSMC is a big boy in this space. TMC, TSMC, let's look at their market cap. They're a $1 trillion company and Quantum Emotion is working with them to build these QRNG chips. So when that press release came out and when we saw what was happening with this QRNG hybrid chip design, so let's dig into this article just a little bit because this is why I'm so interested in this company. Quantum Emotion has completed and validated its first generation QRNG chip design based on quantum tunneling, making a key milestone towards scalable quantum secure hardware. The chip is now submitted to TSMC for fabrication, integrates validated components from ETS Montreal and Université de Sherbrooke, and it's built using a 65 nanometer CMOS technology. 
the OTC stocks aren't required to report every quarter like stocks that are listed on the NASDAQ. I have heard from one of the subscribers of the channel that Quantum Emotion wants to get on the NASDAQ. So maybe that's coming and that would be very bullish for Quantum Emotion. Uh, so we're gonna take everything with a grain of salt. I think the only thing I'm gonna point out here is this isn't a very big company. Their cash and cash equivalents are less than a million and they don't have a lot of liabilities, which is a good thing. From a sheer stock perspective, we can see that this stock has been under 30 cents a share until this TSMC news. And the stock for a penny stock, a volatile penny stock, has been holding above the key psychological level of $1, which is very critical level. We have a very special visitor who hasn't appeared on the channel for probably 50 episodes, but she decided she would come today. What do you think of these penny stocks? I think they're a really bad idea. <laughs> she doesn't advise investing in plug power or quantum emotion at this time. She's gonna need to see more financial data. Um, she's very, very conservative investor. So to finish this up, I think what I'm predicting to happen with quantum emotion is once it can break its all time high, this $1.50, which it's actually come up and almost retested a couple times here. So we see some pretty bullish price action. We're in an uptrend here. And if quantum emotion can push through 147, then we get into price discovery and that's where it gets fun because then the free market is gonna determine what this company is worth. Now, obviously this can go the other direction. This stock was trading at less than 50 cents not too long ago. So I'm fully prepared for this thing to dump down. Just like with plug, when you trade stocks like this, you have to understand that you could lose your entire investment or a lot of it. So with all that being said, those are two stocks under $2. Those are the reasons why I'm investing. And I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.